Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. And now that we've got this video started off right, let's get into the trim. I'm gonna give you a minute here and see if you guys can figure out what the problem is with this foot. I'll give you a hint, it's not where you're normally thinking, it's right here. We've got some digital dermatitis that is working on a dew claw. So we need to get that fixed up, but first let's get this foot trimmed up to get this started. Now that area I just cleaned out on that left claw where that hole is there, there's nothing wrong with that. That is simply an area of incomplete shedding. Basically what that means is in nature, these hooves would shed away naturally, which is why hooved animals in the wild don't need to be trimmed. But because these cows are inside a lot, this hoof stays hydrated and it doesn't all fall away like it's supposed to. This foot is partially trimming itself because these cows are housed in a freestall with sand bedding. That sand bedding is gonna be as close to nature as you're gonna find in a conventional farm uh, where cows are kept inside. So you're gonna get some of that shedding, but it's not completely shed away like it's supposed to. Hence the reason we have to trim cows more often when they're inside. Now this hoof itself is pretty healthy. There's not a lot of trimming that needs to be done here. We're just gonna level it out, balance those claws up, and then we'll move on and take care of that digital dermatitis that's working on that dew claw. Now, because dew claws tend to stay a lot drier, consequently, they're much harder. And you'll notice that as I'm trimming on this, you'll be able to hear it and you'll be able to see it. It's much more difficult to cut through. A common question I get is, do I disinfect my knives when I'm working on cases like this? And when it comes to digital dermatitis, I do. Anytime I'm in, in that area, I spray those knives down just so I don't transfer that to the next cow. Now, typically, digital dermatitis is controlled using a foot bath. In this, this farm, they run a foot bath as well. But what I think happened here, if you notice how these cows step, that fluid is right up and covering those dew claws. Now, over time, as those cows go through that, that, that level in that foot bath will uh, come down. And I think this cow is probably in one of those later groups and it didn't get noticed that it wasn't completely submerging those dew claws like it's supposed to. And that's probably why this took hold where it did. Now this particular dew claw doesn't require a lot of trimming. All I'm doing here is gonna remove some of these ridges right up near that lesion itself. And that way I can get that area really clean and I can get my product to help take care of this up inside there. Getting this area really clean is the name of the game here. The reason for that is, is any debris or any residue that might be there will cover up and protect the bacteria that I'm trying to kill. So I wanna get this area super clean. I'm using my chlorhexidine to do that. That's gonna take care of anything on the surface. And then I'm gonna apply a copper sulfate salicylic acid mix paste on top of that. And that's gonna help penetrate and get inside there and really take care of those bacteria that are living inside this lesion. I'm gonna add a little salicylic acid powder to that cleft area, and then I'm gonna put that paste, as I was talking about earlier, right over the top of this lesion itself, and then I'm gonna give it just a light wrap. I don't want this on too tight. Sometimes people get afraid to wrap over dew claws, but in this case, it's really light. I'm just holding that product in place so it can do its job. And with that, 
this cow is done. I'm going to leave you today with some more of those baby kitties doing what they do. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.